Yo, what the deal, YouTube? This your man, Frank Dutch, right here. I'm back at y'all with another video. Today, I'm going to try to help y'all out today, man. I I, I got a, a message, like, a while ago, really. I didn't even really realize I had it. She was having an issue with getting sound out of Pro Tools, I believe, from what I read. Even if it's not actually what she's saying, I think that's what she's saying. I figured it was a good video to show to y'all because I know a lot of y'all experience this, what I'm thinking she's talking about. Even myself, like, I've wrecked my brain trying to figure out what's going on. So look, I'm going to show y'all why y'all might not be getting sound out of Pro Tools. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, man. This video is going to be crazy, and it's sponsored by WaxYard.com. Head over to WaxYard.com right now and get familiar, man. There's something special happening over there right now as we speak, so stay tuned for that. Let's go. Alright, so I'm going to scoot over a little bit so I can really show you what's happening here. Alright, now the first thing that you want to do, you want to go up to the toolbar and go to the setup option. When you go to the setup option, you want to scroll down to playback engine. When you get to that dialog box that pops up, a drop down menu right here that basically has the computer's audio devices, the audio interfaces. If you don't see your interface in that drop down box, that's most likely the reason why you're not getting sound. Now, Another option is this right here. You want to go back to setup, the setup option, and then you want to select the I and O option. Now, I and O, that's your ins and outs. You want to go to the input tab, the output tab, and the bus tab, and you want to select default for all of those. You'll see a live change as you go through and select default. And once you do that, you should be all good. If you're still not getting sound, you might want to like go back and see what's going on with the interface. Like maybe it's in, it's installed improperly, or you know whatever. It could be could be anything. You know what I'm saying? It used to be a time up into Pro Tools 9 where you couldn't use any other type of interface. It had to be a, a Digi Design device or an Avid device. After Pro Tools 9, that's when they started opening up to. Um, to other interfaces or well, I believe it was at Pro Tools 9 when they started opening up to other interfaces but anyway man I ain't gonna talk y'all head off this your man Frank Dutch man y'all be cool how y'all be cool man I hope this video really helps y'all especially the person that really uh, messaged me about it I really hope this video helps you yo um, and if it don't you know what I'm saying uh, we'll work it out <laughs> but yeah this your man Frank Dutch right here man y'all be cool how y'all be cool happy new year peace and love man One.